All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Vamp Show. Let's. Uh, we are having another very, very, very exciting day. This is so much fun, man. It is just so much, so much fun trading with the bubble charts. The bubble charts are just absolutely amazing. Look at that. Just, it, I, you know, I don't even have to trade anymore, guys. I just, I wish it was me. So check it out. So we're coming down. We're getting close to the blue bounce circle zone again here on the center chart. So let's keep an eye out for that. All right. If it does pierce this, the next line is considerably lower. We have completely rolled over on the uh, on our, our MACD bubble chart. Uh, we are headed down, right? So I have been telling everybody over and over and over again that you need to watch out. This is still not crossed over. This does not become bullish until it crosses over. And then there is a delay on it. So we, we can see that. How this occurred right over here. Here you go. See, it struck here. There was a delay. It struck here. There was a delay. Now, this is on the 12-hour chart, right? So you can see this doesn't automatically take off. In, in fact, this, this I called really well. This, I was sweating bullets on this one. I really thought, uh, oh, let me see what I can do. Um, oh, we have tech on. Tech, where are you at? Uh, I think you have to set your video to 1080, please. So if you have not set your video to 1080. Um, my internet does suck, and I am in a rental house. I'm only here probably for another four to five days. So, yep, the video is fine. Please set to 1080. Tech's our mod here. He's our superhero. Um, so let's take a look at where we're at today. So... If you recall, back on, let me pull up some of my super duper handy old charts. So if you remember, oh, oh hold on a second. So if you remember back in the day, I said, this is when we were way up here, right? We got up here, we got into the bubble. I said, wow, great short trade setup. I actually hopped into this trade at seven, uh, 67.50. Right, and I was watching this. This actually made a doji candle. So this actually created a doji candle. And then I also posted this chart here. So I got into 67.50. And then I was watching this as it was dropping, right? And I look I called this as an ins a uh, an inside bar. And or uh, if you looked at these charts right here, this is still here. Um Let's see, where is this at? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? There it is right there. A three inside down. So I was looking at this as a three inside down. And you can see this is setting up as a three inside down. We had this wicked wick right here, uh, which was from a, and I called that out earlier too. So I even called that one on this other chart over here. I called that the other day where it created a falling wedge, pop back up, all easy trades, all easy signs. Uh, so I did take out half of my short position right up into here. So I got up here. I took it out because of the bullish. Uh, I saw this falling wedge. I took it out because of this falling wedge where it popped up. So I did remove my shorts before that. My stop loss was set over on top of this to 6,800. It never popped my stop loss. I was on top of this. And still sitting in shorts, I also opened up an EOS short uh, simply based on... Uh, here was the here's the existing uh, sorry here's the existing chart and let's bring this up and where is my EOS let's find my amazing EOS chart give me one second all right. So here was our EOS chart at the time. Now this was the four hour. Let's go back here. We're gonna bring up the four hour chart, right? So if you look up here, this was right. All right, let's move this over. Where are you at? Where are you at? 
Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There it is right here. All right. So here's where I called the uh, the short call on this right up here when this happened. So you saw this created a, a uh, this was a death cross. So I called this on the death cross. I went into a short position on EOS here. Now I am an absolute moron. Um, just back to using Mex again. And I hit cross. I tried to pull a 500 uh, EOS short at 3x. And I hit cross. And I'm a complete moron. An absolute moron. And then this dump down here. I actually took shorts out. I took half of my shorts out. And I've got like... I still am sitting in shorts. I think I've got like 200 or something left. It's not that many, but I am in cross. It's a joke, honestly, how much money's on cross. I never, ever, ever, ever use cross. I showed everything. If you guys look back at all my trades, I never, never use cross. I apologize. Um, so once again, I called this trade right here. Here's my chart. And if you guys go back, if you're on our members group and on our uh, and on Twitter, so I called that and good for me, fell out of the sky. This would have been a very, very, very lucrative trade if my dumb, stupid butt would have just pulled a, a 3x short. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. As long as I won the trade, that's all that counts. So I feel good about winning that trade right there still. You know, it, it's about making the good calls, right? You know, I'm not, I'm not as much worried about the money. Uh, it's about making the good calls, right? Uh, you can leverage, you can change your leverage while you trade. Yeah, I know. I know, you know, and, and trust me, I, I know that. So I am now, so here we are. So we are now looking at this, uh, completing out as a three inside down. Now let's, let's see how far this is possible. Now I just, just was talking to Johnny on the, uh, I was texting Johnny back and forth. And where did you go? And I was just explaining to him, and we were both talking about where the support levels were. So breaking this, your next support level right here is at 65.82. So you can expect this to come down. We should see a little bounce off here. If this does rip through, you've got 65.25. Now this gets dangerous. We are still six hours, six hours away from closing this uh, as a golden cross. Now, let me reiterate that, as closing this as a cross, okay? So we are closing this as a cross. Now, will this be a bear cross or will this be a bull cross? This is still yet to be seen. I mean, six hours is a long time in crypto. Look, this one candle you know, ripped up there. I mean, who this this one candle happened all in the last like hour of trading, right? This is like one hour of trading. You had this big rip up. So BTC is very weak right now. We are looking for this to fall down still. I'm looking for the next two support levels here, which are possible. We do have a red two trading below a red one on a 12 hour. This is very, very bearish. Right, we do show our bubble charts, which are showing us also the equal signs of bearish. Now, this is the only chart that's showing us we could have a bounce right here. We do have the bubble chart on the RSI. It is into the bounce range, so we need to keep a close eye on this. Now, remember, this can still go down a little bit, and then it will kick back over. So I am watching this. I still have told everybody... Do not go bullish. I have been I have been bearish and I have showed you my trades and I got into this trade all the way up here and I'm just kind of riding it down. Then I open that additional EOS trade and I'm just kind of riding this down. I am not going to go into any kind of a bullish position until the tr this cross happens, right? And then we have a secondary issue that we're going to have to contend with is depending on how far this gets down here, when this crossover happens, there will then be a delay, right? So let's see if this holds or not. This is going to be a very, very challenging trade area right here. You're going to have to really stay on top of this. This is a great trade setup. This is another layup trade setup. We just have to see where this lands. Now, unfortunately, with crypto, there is no easy, easy, peasy, um, 
you know, there's no easy peasy trading here, unfortunately, because it is 24 hours a day. So most of us do sleep normal schedules other than the vampire who barely sleeps at all. Okay, so what we're waiting for is we're waiting for this to come down, fall anywhere in this range, see the cross. I expect to see a small delay. I will open a long position. And guys, come on, man. People who say I don't, you know, tell you when to open and when to close and when to do things. Dude, I put it on my damn charts. <laughs> it's, it's written on my charts. <laughs> Right? I just I can't do any more than that. You know, I can't hold your hand and trade for you, right? You know, especially people who, you know, are out there in, in Twitter land just like, hey, I you know, I'm not gonna give you a tip, I'm not gonna take care of you, I'm not gonna give you a shout out, but can you tell me when to buy and when to sell and do everything else? No. Come on, guys. Come on, man. I'm working hard here for you. Give me some love. Right? Join our group, join our Discord, you know, give me a shout out on Twitter. You know, I give me some love, damn it. I'm making these amazing calls and I'm doing it every damn day. And I'm stomping the piss out of other TA people. Come on, other TA people can't even handle this. And I am only been here since the end of January. You got TA people have been doing this for years. And they I'm not even sure they know what a candle is. I'm sure they still go into their bathroom and light the little candle in the tub for some for light at night while they're taking their little soaky bath with all their BTC money they bought at 400 bucks. Right? Come on. Show the vamp some love here. All right? I give you guys the easiest setups. I give you the easiest layups. I watch other TA people on video. They don't give you setups. They're not. All right? This is a this is a perfect setup. I gave you a perfect setup here every single way along this trail. I've given you perfect setups. Right, and here's another one. I've been short since up here. It's been on my charts. It's I I stream it 24 hours a day. Now we're falling out of the sky right here. You just have to watch these support levels, right? And just time it right. That's all it is. Just smart trading and timing. Okay. That's all it is. Just smart trading and timing. We're watching this. Here it comes. Come to daddy. Come on. Come on down here. And you're going to bounce off 65.83. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on. Right? Now, if this breaks here, we've got our next support level here. You should be very, very wary. If it breaks this and it breaks this, there ain't no stopping it. I mean, it's going to bust right through this. So look, take a look at this zone right here. And all you got to do is just be aware. And I'm teaching people every day how to trade, right? From here to here, there's nothing. This is just a free fall zone. So if BTC comes down and gets into here, there's nothing to stop it. It's only going to go down. And this is your last support right here. Actually, you've got, well, you do have the support on the, so right here. Right, so you've got this line, but you've also got the MAs right here, remember? So you've got these MAs, which are a lot of support. So we're going to fall down, and we need to hold these two supports in order for this to be a golden cross. If this continues to break down deeper, right, then this will be very, very easy for all of us. It's another nice, beautiful setup trade, and all we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and... And we're going to go, we're, I'm, I'm still short. I'm just going to stay short. That's all it is. Now, are we going to have to get a bounce somewhere? Yes, we're going to have to get a bounce somewhere, right? Where's that bounce going to be? Uh, we're going to have to just see, right? We're going to have to see how strong, how, how secure this is, how, how well this is going to hold. But this is six hours away to like really, really bad, okay? The clock is ticking. And the bears are getting really close to taking this over. And I have told everybody over and over and over. Where, where's my other damn chart? Where's my other damn chart? Right? So here you go. So here's one of the things I put up here, right? I put the 12th is a critical time. So this line right here is the 12th. So this is a very critical time thing. I very rarely do time. I have been doing time, though, based on the 12th. Uh, and anywhere between the 9th and the 12th. Right. 
has been a critical time for BTC as we go back historically. And that's, you know, here we are. We're, we're in this danger range right here. We're in this very dangerous place, this very dangerous time. And this death cross could very well decide the direction of BTC for the next month. Now, do I think that this, the direction of BTC already is what I think it is, which is bearish? I still think we are, I'm saying right now, 70% bearish. Right now, we have a 70% chance of being bearish through July, okay? And that's not good. And that's, uh, you know, and, and I'm not basing it on this chart. I am basing it on this chart right here. And this very simple, right? This is what I'm looking at right here. This is what I'm watching, right? This is bearish. Right now, how many times have I said this? I have gone through on my videos and I have compared. I've told you guys, right? Where are we at here? Oh man, where my little boxes go? Super sad face here. Where am I? All right, all right. I thought I had my little yellow boxes right here, and I apparently do not have my little yellow boxes. All right, so let me throw my little boxes back on here. And there's one. And there's two, right? So this is July. This is the previous July action right here. Sorry, let's scoot this over. There you go. So here's the red line. This is the top of July 2016. Here's the top of July 2017. You see that we bounced up, tickle, tickle, and then just dumped. Bounced up, tickle, this, yeah, it's a little higher. Then we tried again, it was much weaker, and then this just crapped out. Oh my God, super surprise and shock. It's doing the same thing, right? You know, go figure. You know, it's so funny, people tell me, no, it's so different, things are so different. Yeah, they are different. BTC is much weaker right now. M substantially weaker than it was in 2017. Right? Substantially weaker than 2017. And I keep telling people this over and over and over again. 2016, we just had less volume. There was no volume back in 16, right? So if you guys look, let's, let's do this. We're going to pull off our TD. We're going to throw our volume on, right? Can you see this? Look, now there is a lot of volume happen right here, but then the volume just died off in January. So look at this, a lot of volume, and then just took a dump right here in January, and it made a bowl. See this bowl? Clearly made a bowl right there. And then it came up here, here's January 2017, and it did the same thing. You see it made the same bowl right here. So this is good, this is really good. I like this, right? This, this gives me hope for August. That's what this does. This gives me hope for August, you know? Now, this doesn't give me any hope for August right here because it's kind of flatlined out on us a little bit, but this gives me, you know, it comes up and, and, and it gets a little better. You know, it comes up, dips, and it gets a little better. And I'm really hoping we could possibly see a, a, a you know, is it possible we, sh you know, get a, a, a moderate July right now? I, I'm not feeling it, folks. I'm just not feeling it. We need this golden cross to save us. This golden cross is our it really, it's almost one of our last hopes right here. Right? We've got to hold this golden cross. If we want to save January, like the bulls have got to hold this golden cross. Because look, there's nothing. This, if this drops down here, now you've got to get the seven and the 50 day coming down. You got the 50 coming down. You got the 7 coming up. If this rolls over here, right, this is just going to cause another a really ugly death cross. A really ugly death cross, okay? So this is bad looking not good on the daily. This has got to get back up above the 7MA close, and it's got to do a PDQ pretty damn quick. All right, these are all great trade setups, though. All you guys have to do is just look at this. Look at what I'm seeing and just say, oh, yeah, that makes complete sense. 
and you should be able to do the same thing without watching my videos, right? You guys aren't, don't even need me anymore. That's what I'm hoping for. You don't need bad TA people. So here we go. Now we have closed below the 7MA. We are winding up here. Now the clock is ticking. We've got five hours and 45 minutes to the close of this 12 hour candle. All right. This thing needs to hold support right here. All right. It needs to hold support. So let me reduce this. Let me bring this back up. Oh, big surprise. Big surprise. We're up here. We're kind of holding right here. Right where my little baby line is. So it's trying to hold the support right here. See, now your when you guys snap your support lines, they don't have to be perfect, right? But if you look, look, body, body. Now my line is a little bit off. Right? Body, body. Is this, you know, little range in this one. Body, body. And this is, you know, this is how I find these support zones. And clearly it was supported right there. Now, will it hold this? It didn't hold here. So you can see how this came down, bounced up, closed, opened, and opened lower and dumped down again. So this is very easy to identify these support zones. Uh, where it bounced, did that, was that a support zone? I mean, you know, it was. It was a right here, this wick. So look, wick to wick. It's just, isn't it crazy? Oh, look, sorry. There you go. And now it's too low. There we go, right there. I mean, just perfect, wick to wick right there. So now this is, there's not a lot of support here. The support is actually sitting up here. Let's go back to the easy trade setup over the next six hours. So six hours from now, this will touch. This will touch. I will be doing a trailing stop loss and or I will be clearing out shorts that are coming down right here is what I will be doing and I will be flipping into a long trade only for a scalp that's it I'm only gonna pull a scalp that's all I'm doing here I'm just scalping remember the secret to trading for everybody who watches my video you trade the trends you scalp the bounces okay so that's what we're doing right here we're just wait this Six hours, people. Six hours from a home run trade. At least a, it should be a very easy trade. And, it, you know, once again, so here we are. We're down here, and you're on the blue line. So watch this. This is a bounce point right here. So if it holds this, this is good. If it doesn't, this will fall. If you watch this line fall all the way down to here, you will watch BTC fall all the way down to here, okay? Until it hits the next bounce zone. So if you know you do a correlation between the price action and the RSI right here, you know, you can see this, you know, down 6500, 6500 right here, and there will be a bounce. Now, it's funny because if this bounce line time lines up with uh, the uh, the two MAs doing the golden cross, you will have a double lever layer of support and I'll be looking for a nice little bounce as specifically as a scalp only, right? If we break below this, I mean, pack your bags, we're going, we're going deep. That's all I got to say. Pack your bags. I, it's irrelevant to me right now going up or going down. All I care about is playing the swings. All I care about is these easy trade setups, and that's what we got. We're looking good. This is great. I'm excited for this trade, right? You guys should all be excited. These are the good trades. These are the trades we want because they're easy. All right? Um, not looking good on the bubble chart. This is not. This is very, very bearish right here. Uh, we need to. We need to see. We need to be saved by this. Uh, we need to be saved down here. We need some golden cross salvation. Let's take a look at some of the alts we got. And everybody knows that I always go to Litecoin to see where we're at. Litecoin. All right. So if you are in Litecoin right now, you are looking at a really good shorting opportunity on Litecoin. Uh, you probably have this set up coming 12 hours from now. So you have about 12 hours from now. This should... Just watch this right here on the 12 hour chart. So Litecoin should hit a second death cross. 
this would be a good shorting opportunity again for Litecoin if this does open up a second death cross, okay? And I've always told everybody Litecoin is the weakest coin out there. It is the leader. Uh, and no, it is, it's not weak. It just leads BTC where it's going. And as you see on the 12-hour chart, we are under all of the support layers. We have broken through the last layer of resistance, the next layer of support. I'm sorry, the last layer of support was right here, 78.74. Next layer of support right here is 73. Then we have, we have to go way, way back over here. And we do find a lot of support over here at the, at this, you know, there's, there's substantial support at, let's zoom in here, 71 looks good. So 71 looks good, like it's got a bunch of support right there. And, you know, I would, 71 looks good. It does. 71 looks like good support if this does break down. After this death cross, 71 could be a target for you. Uh, for this death cross, yeah, and I would even say sub-70. If this death cross is really fanatical, this could be sub-70 for LTC. What does the bubble chart show uh, exactly? It shows that I uh, have sacrificed unicorns and Skittles and a little magic pixie dust, and it's a secret formula put together by the vampire. I can't tell you or I'd have to kill you. No, I'm only kidding. Nah, come join the group. I'll tell you all about it. Uh, let's take a look at ETH here. Man. All right, so on ETH, we had the death cross, right? Look, golden cross. Uh, this was, uh, depending on what this price action was, this was a death cross. This looked like a death cross. Hit the 50, bounced off. That's that's that showed a lot of strength. Did I miss some news thing on Ethereum? Or did it just follow a BTC bounce? Now you are doing the same thing on the four hour over here. Now the four hour death crosses are not equal to the 12 hour death crosses. The higher the time frame, the heavier the death crosses. And let's go take a look here. If this does end up being another death cross. Let me pull this off right here. All right. So let's take a look. Last time we had our death cross, it was right here. So the last death cross that hit us was just... So there's one. I'm not sure where this was. This probably was a death cross. There's another death cross. So these death. this one was vicious. This one is vicious. We are getting the same thing. And it's just, this just doesn't look good. Man, if you're in an LTC short right now, you are my hero. You are my hero. I would like to give you guys a high five right now if you guys are in a Litecoin uh, death cross. Amen. Great job. So, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been showing my levels for support for what trading room say. Trading room said... 68 to 72. Let's see what we got here. I have. Yep. So, yeah, you, I mean, you're, this is where your bounce levels are. And, uh, you know, it comes through here and it's going to get real ugly. I, I, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's just see how this plays out. Like I said, so I hit the first support. Let's, you know, this is just super ugly, super bearish. If we break seventy to seventy three dollars, if we break seventy three bucks, I think we're going sixty seven, sixty eight bucks. Yeah. Yep, that's about right. Good support right there. You got two layers of support on Litecoin right there. All right, let's uh, let's go over and look at my favorite right now. Let's see what we got here. Right, let me put these indicators back. All right, and we're going to come over here and look at EOS. All right, so here we are on the four-hour chart of EOS. We are bleeding. So we came down. We're in a nine. We're bleeding. This is bad. This is a rising wedge. Rising wedges are bearish on the four-hour. Let's go take a look at our 12-hour chart. Uh, just bleeding. Look at this. This is a nine. This is a red nine. This was a death cross. 
and you can see when I trade. So if you've ever seen how I trade, I, I have a little trading cheat sheet and it shows you exactly the steps that I take. Step one, two, three, four, five. And, and it shows you based, that's based on the strength of indicators. And here you can see that the death cross was stronger than the TD sequential count. And this just bled out. This is the 12 hour chart. So this is substantially a stronger uh, death cross. Let's see what we got for the daily support here. Nothing. Nothing. But but the good news on EOS is you you're not you're not staring at another death cross. So that's the good thing about EOS right now, right? So that's a good thing. Okay, but the last EOS death cross that occurred, uh, you know, they had it got a good bounce back. I mean, a lot of volatility in in EOS, and that's what makes it such a great trading coin. So you, you get a lot of wins, substantial wins, with all this, this just crazy bouncing around, you know? And that's the 12-hour chart. So let me see this. Let me take a look at this. See, you don't have the substantial bounces here on Litecoin that you do on EOS. See, these are much more pronounced dips and valleys. So you can make a lot more money swing trading EOS. It's just super easy to see. This is why swing trading EOS is a lot more profitable. Um, this is crazy. So I was looking at this earlier and you've got the second line and in the, the second line that came down. And I mean, they just smashed together which is super crazy, right? And we're coming, trying to break through the bottom of the of the cloud. We've got support by the Tekken. I just, I don't know. I don't know Ichi that good. All right, so we've got support. And so we're sandwiched in here. So we've got an, an MA coming down. Let's see what we got here. God, these are kind of irrelevant. So we've got, you know, we're just, we're sandwiched in here on the Ichi. And if this does break down, it'll break right through that, right through that green cloud. Yeah. So let's be, listen, everybody, you just got to, we got to hold on to play this nice bounce. And, and this will be good money. This will be really easy money. Um, all right. All right. Oh, breaking through, down. All right. Um, you know, it, it's this is just another good trading day. We had a bunch of good trade setups. We're looking good. You know, my charts are working. That's all that counts. Oops. Uh, come on, get back up there. Uh, stupid charts. Got to get used to this damn machine. And what do we got here? 